Hey guys, welcome back. Well, it's time to jump into Maya again, and today we're gonna create a Viking helmet. Okay, so let's check it out. Here we go. Right, guys. Well, we're in Maya 2018. Let's get started with our helmet. Okay, so we're gonna start with a uh, polygon sphere, uh, which should be 20 by 20, and I'll check. Uh, yeah, 20 by 20. Just to hit Control A to open up your attribute editor, and then I'm gonna jump into my front view, and I'm gonna right-click at a face drag select about this much and hit delete okay so we just have that little top thing left then we're going to go in and i'm going to right click at an edge i'm going to double click on that entire edge all the way around like so i'm going to hit Control e to extrude r to scale out something like this g to repeat last command r to scale out a bit more g to repeat last command r to scale out a bit more once again, G to repeat last command, W to push down, G to repeat, and R to scale in, which will give you something like this. All right, cool. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, we're gonna right click at a face, and I'm gonna select these two faces, and delete them, flip to the back, select these, not that, that one, that one, and that one delete as well we're gonna right click at an edge and I'm gonna double click on that edge all the way around and I'm gonna shift to double click on this one as well and we're gonna go to edit mesh and bridge I'm gonna go to the option box edit reset settings now I want a smooth path and curve as far as the direction is concerned I want that custom like so and then I don't want to twist, I don't want to taper, I do want 20 subdivisions, so we're going to do that, and let's hit bridge. And there you go. Now, with this guy going over our helmet, what we can do is tweak this a little bit, if we like. We can now go in and try to taper it slightly, not too much. As we go overboard, you see that that will not work. So let's see what our sweet spot is. It looks to be about... Let's try 1.9, see if it, no, 1.8 seems to be the maximum. Okay, 1.8 is fine. Looks all right. Now, like I said, we don't want to twist. Let's see if we can tweak the offset a little. We can, if we like, which will change the shape somewhat, uh, but it doesn't look good. So we're gonna leave that alone. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be it, okay. Right, so what's next? What we're gonna do next is we're gonna go in and we're gonna take this guy. So we're gonna skip one vertical uh, edge there. Take that one, we're gonna flip over, do the same here, and then shift double click. And we're gonna go to edit mesh and bevel. Now as we do that, we can tweak that fraction. We can make that bigger or smaller. And let's do 0.25. I think that's about right. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna right click at a face, select like this one, shift double click right here, and we're gonna hit Control E to extrude, and then pull on that thickness. Now again, you don't wanna go nuts on that, so let's see, 0 0.3 maybe, maybe a bit more, 0 0.4, that's okay, right? Now, Let's see what else we can do here. We can do a taper if we like, uh, but I'd rather do it this way. What I'll do is with these faces already selected, I'm just simply gonna hit R on my keyboard to scale, and I'm gonna push them together. So we got a nice clean and sharp edge going on there. All right, looks okay. So let's do a quick uh, preview here. I'm gonna go to object mode, hit three to preview smooth which will give us something like this. Now we need to add a couple of edge loops here to uh, kind of hold that shape. So hit one to go back. And what I'm gonna do is go in to uh, injured edge loop option box. Make sure it's set to single and it is. So now we can go in and add a few, all right? So I wanna have one right there, right there at the end. We'll have one here and here. We'll do one here, and you don't have to do it this way. If you have uh, poly count restrictions, you can crease those edges as well. 
Uh, I don't really have that issue right here, so I'm gonna do it this way. Uh, we'll do one here. And actually, I need to be careful with that because I'll create an end gun. Let's see. Yeah, it's gonna create an end gun anyway, so I have to clean that up. That's fine. And I'm gonna remesh this in ZBrush anyway, so we should be okay. We'll do one here. We'll do one here. And just make that nice and clean the way you want it. Okay. All right, that should be okay. All right, so I hit Q on your keyboard. We're gonna go to object mode. We're gonna hit three to preview smooth. You see that we probably have a little issue here, but like I said, we're gonna remesh this in ZBrush, so it should be okay. But uh, for now, fine. We're gonna hit one to go back. Let's see if there's anything we can do here. Yeah, what we can do is uh, go in. Take these, delete those. Actually, let's do it properly. Control delete those. And then we'll do the same here. Control delete those. And then we're gonna go to object mode. We're gonna go to mesh and uh, clean up. Make sure we got uh, faces with more than four sides selected. Let's hit clean up and let's see what it comes up with. And it's probably gonna triangulate that area right there. And it did, so that looks fine. And the only one that I want to deal with here is this guy right here. So we're going to control delete that. And delete that. And then we're going to right click that up. And vertex, take that vertex. And there you have it. Looks better. And then we'll do the same here. We're gonna right click at an edge like that. Control delete it. We're gonna go to vertex, grab that vertex, bring that in. All right, looks much better. Object mode, three to preview smooth. And once again, it will be remeshed, okay? So happy with that. Um, what's next? The horns for our helmet, which is a bit tricky. Now, um, keep in mind that when you do horns for a helmet, um, it's kind of tricky to get that shape. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a, a helix, go to polygon primitives, helix. I'll move it over to the side here. We're gonna go into the attribute editor and we're gonna set that to one coil which will give us something like this. And that's basically all you need to do. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and let's take the top one here. We're gonna right click at the edge, click and shift and double click. So we've got that edge selected all the way down. And I'll hit four so you can see it, but one edge, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to modify. We're gonna go to convert and we're gonna convert a uh, polygon edge to curve. As we do that, I can now move that curve over. Select this guy, go to edit, delete by type history. So I can now get rid of the whole thing. And now we got this guy to work with. I'm gonna go to modify and center pivot. And there we go. And this is something we need to turn into a horn, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little polygon cube, move that over, pull that up, hit R to scale that down. I have to zoom in and uh, let's uh, get that pretty close to where we need to be. I have to zoom in once again. So I basically want that edge to start in the middle of this face here. And then I'm gonna right click on a face, get rid of those, just keep this one. And there you go, pull that up, pull that out. Have to zoom in once again, looks okay. And we may need to uh, change the angle a bit, but maybe not. Okay, so now that we have that, 
we need to make sure that this is big enough. So I'm going to hit R. Let's go to Modify and Center Pivot again. I'm going to scale it up just a little. Okay. I'm going to right click at a face. I'm going to shift select this guy and I'm going to hit Control E to extrude, which will push it straight down. And what I need to do here is increase the subdivision level. And as I do that, it's starting to follow that shape. Okay. And you see that I have to change the angle of the first one. So we're going to go back, Control Z. I'm going to select this in object mode, hit E to rotate and basically try to get a 90 degree angle with this guy. Okay, let's try that again. Face, control E to extrude, increase subdivision level, much better. All right, so now that we have that subdivision level at 25, let's uh, tweak the taper. And you can bring that up or you can bring that way down. And as we bring that way down, you will get that nice point at the end there. And let's do 0 0.01 nice okay so now that we have that what we can do next is go in we're gonna right click at a face delete it we don't need that curve anymore so we're gonna go to object mode we're gonna go to edit delete by type history we can now hit W and move it and our curve is uh, gone that's our curve. We're going to delete that. There you go. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to right click, go to edge. We're going to double click on this one. We're going to hit control E to extrude. R to scale out. G to repeat and W to pull out. And you want to do that in object orientation, not world orientation. Okay, so double click on this guy. Come on. Uh, it's probably down here. Let's do that again. Here, yeah, there we go. And I want that to be in object orientation. So when I pull that out, it's the way it should be. Okay. All right. So now that we have that, let's go to object mode and hit three to preview smooth and have a look. Okay. Not bad. Hit one to go back. Go to insert edge loop option box. Let's add one right there. And then we'll do one here and we'll do one here and one here. Okay, cool. Hit Q on your keyboard, go to object mode and go to mesh and smooth to smooth this out. Now, depending on uh, whether you have poly count restrictions or not, you need to be careful with uh, the level of subdivision. I'm just gonna keep this fairly high just because I don't really have a restriction. I think that looks okay. And that's what we're going to go with. So we're going to take this guy, we're going to hit W, we're going to move it towards our helmet. Now we need to figure out how we can position this guy in a correct way. All right. So first what we need to do is hit E to rotate it, hold down J, and we're going to switch back here to world orientation. Otherwise it's going to be difficult. We're going to hold on J and we're going to snap that and then we're going to bring that in. And let's have a look. So I probably want to do something like this. Hit W to bring it down and let's see if we are allowed to do it this way, but I think we are. I have to zoom in. W to bring in. And we're basically going to have that cut in. Let's look at it from this angle. Or let's bring it way in here. And let's hold the V to snap it. And let's have a look. Okay. So let's um, change the orientation again. We're going to double click. Go to world again. Bring it out here. And this is kind of fiddly to get this right, but once you have it right, it's cool. I think that looks okay. 
Okay, so now that we have one of those, uh, let's see if we can flip that guy over, okay? So what we're gonna do is get out of our outliner right now. Uh, we're gonna go to um, Edit Duplicate Special Option Box. I want an instance of this guy. Um, scale minus one on X and hit Apply. We're gonna hit the W to move this guy. And let's get it into place. Let's close this out. All right. Looks pretty neat. And then what I want to do is uh, put a little bit more detail onto it. So for that, what I'll do is I'll take another polygon sphere. Let's uh, pull that out. And we're going to go in and we're going to set that to 8 by 8 or maybe even less. Let's do 5 by 5. Yeah, 5 by 5 is fine. Okay. We're going to right click at a face and then drag select the whole bottom half here. So we just have that thing. I'm going to go to object mode. We're going to go to modify and center pivot. I'm going to hit R to scale this thing down, E to rotate it, hold down J as we do, and then we're going to hit W and bring that in. Okay. Now I'm going to approach this from my top view, and what I'm going to do is take my two horns here. And I'm going to hit H to hide it. This is the guy that I'm working with. Hit 4 for wireframe mode. And I'm going to hit W and move that in. And let's see how that looks before we continue. Bring it down. We want to make this smaller. So hit R at the scale so it will fall in place. Happy with that height. Let's check it one more time. Okay, so we're going to bring that in like this. That looks fine. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to jump to our top view. We're going to move the pivot point. So we're going to hit the insert key. We're going to hold down X. So we're going to move the, uh, the pivot, hold down X, and snap it to the center. Okay, and then we're going to do is hit the insert key again. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate. We're going to hit E to rotate and hold down J as you do. So that's one. And then we're going to hit Shift D and go all the way around. And there you go. All right. So that looks okay. We're going to go to display and show all. There you go. Okay, guys. Well, here is our helmet. Uh, I think it turned out okay. Uh, there's a lot more that we can do here, uh, but uh, for the modeling bit, uh, that is it. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please, please, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos. And that said, see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.